Alrighty, so in this uh, video, Photoshop 101, we're going to go over the uh, Dodge tool, the uh, Burn tool, and the Sponge tool. These all have a hotkey uh, letter O, so you can click over here um, on this little Dodge tool. It looks kind of like a, a solid magnifying glass. Um, that's your standard one, or you can click the letter O on your keyboard, and it'll open that up. So the Dodge tool um, is a pretty good tool. Um, I use it uh, quite a bit on designs to essentially lighten up um, an image. Uh, you've got your standard bar up here on top, so you can set your uh, brush size, the different brush that you use. You can use any brush for this. I like to use a soft brush for this. If you use a hard brush, it's going to give you hard to find lines. Um, so a softer brush works, so the soft round on the default brushes is really good for this. Um, the size is all depending on uh, what your image size is and what areas you're trying to lighten up so you can go bigger um, or smaller, it doesn't really matter, it's just based off of the image that you're using. Um, the range for this I think is defaulted at mid-tones, you can change the range to shadows or highlight areas so you can lighten areas that are already light uh, even more so or um, the mid-tone color so your, your grays things that are in the middle and then your shadows the darkest areas you can uh, mess with those too but the default I believe is at mid-tones um, if it's not that's the one that I like to use uh, sometimes these little defaults here are already set to whatever selected them as uh, and then the exposure um, is just how much exposure you're going to give to that area 50% um, is a pretty good range for that if you set the exposure up much higher, it's going to lighten a whole lot more. If you set it lower, it's not going to lighten as much. So 50% is a pretty good range for that. Um, and then uh, protect tones, make sure that that's checked. Uh, that it, it'll protect your colors from changing in hue. Um, so like your reds will stay a red color rather than changing to like a brown or an orange or something like that. So um, once you have that, you can simply uh, just click and you know paint over the areas of the image that you want to highlight. So up here on the top, uh, this tree, say you want to make it a little bit lighter so it's not so dark in this corner, um, you just simply drag over the top of it, and it's going to lighten up those areas. You know, if you do too much, um, don't worry. You can go back with the um, burn tool and the burn tool is the exact opposite of the dodge tool so the burn tool is going to burn the image it's going to make it darker um, so we're lighting up the rock down here um, this isn't a, a particularly amazing image uh, because there's not like crazy dark um, edges but there are some images that have like a really dark vignette around the edges <coughs> excuse me um, those would be areas like if you wanted to brighten those up like I've got some wood grain stuff wood grain designs that I've created that have a dark vignette around the edge if you didn't like those you could go into those and you could use this dodge tool to uh, lighten those areas up a little bit um, just to make it a little less dark in certain areas um, if you hold down alt while using the dodge tool it will do the burn tools effect so you can uh, darken those areas back up if you wanted to make you know even darker areas you could do that you know to kind of uh, put a vignette effect of your own on things um, it's one way to do a vignette effect it's not uh, the only way to do it it's probably not the best way to do it but it does allow you to darken the edges uh, or darken any aspect of the uh, image you know in the last video we, we we tried to darken or, or smudge this little light here so let's say we wanted to uh, make this smaller see if this will work and make it look nice um, we will hold alt and we'll just go over his pant leg to kind of eliminate some of that uh, glare there that that lens flare um, and it works out pretty decently it doesn't look too terrible there eliminate some of the lens flare that was on the kids pant leg there um, you can um, use the burn tool without holding alt by just uh, clicking, right clicking over here and using the burn tool. Uh, same goes for the burn tool. Um, 
if you uh, want to mess with or change any of these things, you can. And if you hold Alt while using the Burn tool, it will do the Dodge tool, so it will lighten things up. Um, lastly, in this little section here, we have the Sponge tool. Now, the Sponge tool is actually really cool. Um, it allows you to completely uh, saturate or desaturate uh, sections of your image, um, meaning turn them uh, gray or make their colors extremely saturated so uh, as to like um, brighten um, this image. So right now we're on saturate and we're clicking in here and you can see that those greens are getting even more green. Um, these oranges in the leaves are getting even more orange or even you know the kid's shirt is getting you know even more red it just gives you a little bit you know that may be a little bit too much the the squares are kind of coming off a little strange so we can hit uh, control Z to undo a few of those um, but saturate when you have it here up on the, the top bar um, uh, that will brighten everything now if you want to desaturate everything this is uh, a really good way to make a certain subject or certain part of the image stand out so uh, you can desaturate the entire background and only make the kid um, in color so essentially just click and drag um, you can up this flow the flow will help uh, get things a little bit better and we'll just turn the entire background of the image gray So that the only part of the image uh, that's in color will be uh, the actual kid or his shirt um, and it just kind of gives you that uh, really cool photo effect of uh, that color pop from everything being you know dark and gray around it and then the kid stands out and color pops around um, obviously you can get you know closer a little bit more detailed than what I'm doing right here uh, by making your brush size smaller uh, to fit in these little areas. Um, press Z to zoom in um, and then you can click and zoom into those areas and then we'll hit our hotkey O again to bring up the sponge tool and then we can continue to color in these areas make them gray or to desaturate those areas so that they become gray. Um, and then you know you have in theory, uh, a nice little color pop will hit Z and we'll go to uh, fit screen so it fits screen. So the only thing that's left in color in the entire image is the kid. Um, it's a really cool photo effect um, for what we do or for what I do as far as uh, designs go for the tumblers and other things. I don't use this effect a whole lot but uh, photography wise it's a really cool effect uh, you can obviously put this type of design or this type of thing on a tumbler when it wouldn't look bad um, but it's a pretty pretty nice effect there pretty straightforward uh, the next little section here we have is the pen tool um, not not a thing I use a whole lot uh, but it's something that we'll go over just because uh, that's what we're doing here in Photoshop 101 so we'll see you in the next video